Hi everyone. I hope this finds you all healthy and happy. And I'm here to share with you a project that I am doing for Nina Ribina's uh, Art Journal Prompts and More. And uh, this was her prompt that was a reuse, recycle, repurpose. I might have those out of order, but that's what this was uh, for. This is an older piece that I had done some string art on in some acrylics that were shimmery. So I decided to um, put some of my shimmery metallic watercolors down on this uh, ceramic tile and um, just kind of um, add a little water to them and then um, um, you know dip my paper down in the, in the color. And I liked how this turned out, um, but I think I end up going to, um, when I go to a different color, I think I end up putting the watercolors down on the piece of acetate, the little piece of acetate, and using that kind of as a stamp. And uh, I liked that effect a lot better. Uh, this did put some pretty shimmery gold down on the page, but... Um, I think I do like it a lot better whenever I put put it on acetate and um, and do it that way. Um, yeah, there I go. I I put uh, just put the watercolors in at that point in time. They were still very liquidy because I had just uh, liquefied the watercolor in the pan there, and um, so they were pretty wet and I just um, stamped them down on the page. This is sort of a, a rusty coppery color like. Um, I was trying to uh, give the page a little bit more um, more vibrant color because it was so uh, uh, pastel so I was trying to see if I could give it a little bit more oomph with the uh, watercolor in that coppery color. And there I add a little bit of water because it was not quite as fluid as um, it need, needed to be um, by that time. And I just um, run my finger over the little droplets and um, it uh, comes out pretty nice there. Uh, I kind of like how that looks. Here I've gotten out my other pan of metallic uh, watercolors. These are called uh, mica colors and I, um, I believe I got them from Amazon but um, you can see that they are really highly pigmented and um, uh, just beautiful shimmery colors and real rich, uh, rich and bright colors. And I thought, well, this might um, might give my the the page a little bit of oomph. <laughs> so I um I begin to dip that, and I love the color. I gave it a little bit of help there to try to get some drips going on with um, some water <clears throat> excuse me and uh, I did I did get um, get some some a little bit of drippage there and I helped it along with the brush some um, and uh, this is such a beautiful color this is uh, really kind of a burnt orange color and um, I really kind of liked how it looked on the page as well so I just um, continue to dip here a little bit um, in different places and uh, see if I can get it to run for me a little bit um, going different ways.
and I help it along with a little bit more water. Finally, do get some a little bit of, of interest with the dripping uh, on that that side of the page. These are just gorgeous colors. I will put. Um, I, I believe I got them on Amazon, and I will try to put the link of the name of them in the description box below in the company that makes them. I do know they weren't hugely expensive. And it looks like I pick up the acetate and just um, instead of dipping the paper into it, I went back to the other way of uh, actually using it as a stamp type uh, effect. And I think out of all of the ways that I did it, I like that the best. So I'm all done with my watercolors, so I give it a quick dry, and I think I may come in with some stencils now and uh, see if that can add a little bit more interest um, to it, and uh, I will be bringing stencils in here in just a second. Okay, the stencil that I chose is one of those that had the sticky on the back. And I removed the sticky with some baby powder, um, and um, using it that way, I don't, I don't really like it when it sticks down to your project. So anyway, took the sticky off, and um, you'll see me here putting uh, two different colors through the stencil. Um, one, the darker one is denim, and uh, I forget what the other one was called, sky blue or something. They're just craft paints. I saw Noah uh, Berkovich do this, um, and I will put the link to her channel in the description box down below. And um, she mentioned that she rarely puts just one color through a stencil. She will choose, you know, a couple colors to put through a stencil, and um, it seems to give it more interest and more depth. And um, I, I really like that. I think that it does. Um, it does look really good whenever you, you put uh, two different shades. Um, I suppose you could do two complementary colors as well. Like, you know, you could um, do something that's not uh, not just both blue, but, you know, something complementary as well. I think we would look pretty good um, doing it this way also. So I was, um, I, I, I was really happy with uh, with how it turned out, and I'm just using a sponge there that um, that I cut um, so that it was a little bit more manageable size to use. And yeah, I'm just um, stenciling it through there, and I'm I think that uh, it uh, I think this did a lot for the page. I I was really happy with. Um, how it uh, is turning out now with um, adding the, the stenciling in the two different 
blues. I like it. Here I'm going in with some Apple Barrel craft paint. I believe the color was Key West. And I decided that I wanted to bring out that color from the background a little bit and highlight it. And uh, so I decided to make some um, marks on the paper on the project with um, a credit card. So you see me here just um, getting some paint out on my craft mat and um, my credit card ready to go there. And I just um, go ahead and make some marks on the um, on the project with the credit card. I do apologize. This is washed out quite a bit um, right in here. It's a little bit too much light. But I just uh, go back and forth horizontally and vertically um, on the page with the credit card and uh, pretty much cover the whole whole page with it. And here you can see a little better how that looks, how that turned out. You can see the horizontal and vertical marks all across the page. Here I come in with some apple red folk art acrylic paint and a brand new pencil, uh, the eraser part of the brand new pencil. And I decide I'm going to put a red center in each one of my blue flowers that I stenciled on. And so that's basically what I'm doing here is just um, using the, uh, the eraser, the, um, the end of a brand new eraser and just dipping it in the paint and um, touching it on each one of the little blue flowers in the center and um, giving each one of them a center. And I, I go on and do that uh, across the whole, uh, the whole page. And here we go. This is what it's looking like so far. Um, I really like the red, uh, kind of makes the flowers pop a little more even on the page. I decide then to take a small little plastic, I'm not sure what that was, lid of some sort that I had that uh, is an oblong shape. And using black stays on, I decide to um, make marks across the whole page with the black, introducing a little bit of black and a little bit more interest. And I just keep going until um, I have it stamped. They came out very faint, uh, but that was okay. I you can still see it, see the black in the background, and that was okay with me. Here you can see how the black oblongs turned out uh, looking, and they are faint, but I do like them. They did um, introduce some black in there, and uh, I was happy with how they turned out in the end. I'm going around the edges of the entire page with a real pretty aqua blue ink. Uh, to give the page a little bit of a border um, and this is a really pretty color and once I get done going around with this color then I decide to also go around the entire page with some black as well and uh, it just gives the page a little bit of a border and frames everything in nicely. Here I'm just showing you some flowers that I have drawn on some uh, mailing uh, security envelopes. Um, and I'm showing you the, the different patterns and colors that are on the inside of the mailing, the security envelopes. And I've drawn some flowers on, on these and that's what I 
am going to use for my focal point for this page. Um, repurpose, recycle, reuse. So um, some of these have really interesting patterns on the inside and that's what I'm going to be using um, for my focal point. What I'm showing you here is that I decided that once I put my focal pieces down on the page that uh, the background needed to be pushed a little bit back around them. Um, so what I was doing here was going around uh, the focal images and um, using a little bit of white to kind of give them a white background or a lighter background. Here you see me taking some of that beautiful metallic orange watercolor that I had put in the original background uh, and I'm using it here to uh, color in the centers of my um, my flowers from the uh, security insides of the security envelopes. And I just thought that I wanted to bring out some more of that pretty um, orange that was in the background. So I'm uh, putting it in the centers of, of all of the uh, focal flowers here. And you can also see that I have drawn um, very uh, sketchy stems and leaves um, just with a black um, uh, thin line or pen. Um, marker and um, you can see there that I've drawn some thin um, leaves and grasses and um, some stems on the bottoms of my of my images. Here then is um, the page uh, pretty well finished. I um, I really like how it turned out in the end. Uh, there was a time there at the beginning where I was really wondering what it was going to end up like. And I do like how it turned out in the end. Uh, I like just the little faint, sketchy leaves and flowers and stems. And um, I like the colors, how they turned out. Um, it was really fun to work on this page um, with the... Uh, using the security envelopes as the focal image. And I didn't realize it, but you'll see the heart. When I was doing the highlight behind the focal images, uh, it came out kind of in the shape of a heart. And um, I thought that was kind of cool. You, you know, you can, you can see it if you really look for it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is... Um, how it turned out and I'm I'm very very happy with it so um, yeah I, I um, will try to keep up doing uh, once a month for the Nina Ribena, um art journal prompts and more and this was for the repurpose recycle reuse I want to thank everyone so very much for watching and for supporting my channel. If you do like the content of my channel, please uh, subscribe, of course, first of all, and uh, like my videos and share them um, with your friends. And, uh, and I really, really, uh, my purpose is to try to show the little bit that I've learned um, with others and help others to be inspired maybe by some of the things that I do and um, thank you to all my my loyal and um, just my faithful subbies that have been with me forever I appreciate you immensely and uh, for all your kind comments and uh, just thanks to all of you for hanging in there with me and helping me grow my channel and um, I guess that's all um, so until I visit with you all next time God bless you